All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about Bullet in the Brain by Tobias Wolf. Before I get into this story and some of the themes and lessons that I think we can take from it, I just want to first say that reader discretion is, is advised for this story. There is some profanity, some lewd imagery, so just keep that in mind if you haven't read it already. I, I do not read these stories before I announce what I'm going to read. I'm just following the 100 most popular short stories that I've found online. I don't really know much about the next story that I'm going to read. So this story, the setting is a bank and the main character is named Anders. And Anders is a professional critic. And um, basically just jumping to the, the end of the story, Anders is inside of a bank when it's being robbed. And Anders is unable to stop laughing at the bank robbers. And so one of the bank robbers shoots him and he dies. And so what are the themes that we can take from this short story? Well, number one, if you've made a habit of doing something or thinking in a particular way, don't think you'll be able to suddenly stop that even when your life's at stake. So in this story, we have Anders, who's a professional critic, who's made a living out of judging others and um, being amused at other people's mistakes. And here he is in a life-threatening situation where he can't laugh at other people's re absurdity or other people's mistakes. And he's trying the best he can to not laugh because the bank robber has a gun up against him and says, if you laugh, you're going to die. And Anders is unable to not laugh because this is what he's done for basically his entire life is make fun of other people and criticize other people and, and be amused by others' shortcomings. So that basically d does him in. Um, another theme is long forgotten memories can be remembered during one's last moments. And we see this in this story because when that bullet goes into the brain of Anders, he recalls this old memory from his childhood. And, and that leads us into the third theme that I've identified in the story. And it's the memory of the baseball field was the most significant moment in Anders' life because it was in that moment when his story changed and started going in a particular direction. So the, the memory that he has, that Anders has, is when he was playing baseball as a kid with, I think, some of his neighbor friends, and somebody, some new kid was going to play with them, and they asked the new kid what position he wanted to play, and the new kid said shortstop, because shortstop is the best position they is. And, and um, Anders notices how bad his grammar is, he notices, it, notices that he says they is instead of there is. And Anders is very amused by this. And he goes into the outfield um, as the game starts. And he's like repeating in his head, they is, they is. And he's kind of like, he's just very amused at how this kid didn't speak proper grammar. And my interpretation of why his memory goes to that event out of all the things that has ha that have happened in his life all the significant things of you know his wives and his daughters and he's witnessed people dying but it goes to this memory of him in a baseball field as a kid because it was in that moment that his life changed and his story started going in a particular direction toward being a professional critic because that was the first moment, at least my interpretation, that he became very amused at another person's mistakes. And that really set his story, you know, on a particular track. And so that's why his memory goes back to that moment. 
at the end of his life because that was the defining moment for him. But also, I don't believe in, you know, predestination. I think he could have changed his story if he wanted to. I think he had free will, but that was the moment where his story started to go in a particular direction and he was going to have to make some major changes if he wanted to switch the direction of his story. So just some open questions for us to consider when we read this story. What is my story? What direction is my story heading? Um, Another question is, is there a defining moment in my life that has put my story in a particular direction? And do I need to think more about that moment? Is that a traumatic moment? Is that just a silly moment, like a seemingly insignificant moment, like this moment with Anders on the baseball field, but it actually becomes a very defining moment for him? Do I like the direction my life or my story is going? I think that's something that we should all consider. That's something that I'm considering, you know, right now. And it's it's a big question, and it's easy to ignore. And um, but, but I think we underestimate like how strong momentum is. And before you know it, you're looking back on your life. And you're realizing that you you know you just spent a ton of years of your life going in a particular direction that you didn't want to go so that's something to consider another question because anders is a professional critic do i enjoy judging others does that distract me from dealing with issues of my own it's a good question and you know Anders being a professional critic doesn't bode well for him. So I think we can learn a little something from that. That's all that I want to say about this story bullet in the the brain. Um, I, for those of you who don't know, I make music and I'm kind of like a creative person. And I like doing these creative things where I can talk about things I'm interested in, talk about, you know, short stories and I, I've made a Patreon page for anyone who wants to support me. I'm going to put that link in the description of the video, of this video. But thank you for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this content.